Tatum. <laughs> it was awesome. The, the crowd was hype, and you know it was easy to feed off the energy. It was just pretty exciting to see everybody was out there. There's so much support for MIT, and you just feel the energy in the audience. There were people just going crazy, you know, and you've got the MIT Beaver across the way, uh, sort of acting all goofy, taunting a little bit. Um, but, you know, beavers can be pretty intimidating sometimes. Although we are the lowest ranked team, that doesn't mean anything in our eyes. We came here to compete, and we came here to win. Which president's face appears on the $1 bill? Justin. George Washington. That is correct. We, we've got a team that's, that's got a diverse background and uh, a, lot of, a lot of good knowledge about the market and the economy. What is the name of Al Gore's green documentary released in... Yes, Christopher. An Inconvenient Truth. That is correct. A dead heat. Which company owns Dairy Queen? Which company owns Dairy Queen? Where's the light? Kevin. Berkshire Hathaway. That is correct. MIT uh, recruits really strong, smart, uh, capable people, and I knew that we'd hold our own, but I also knew that our competition would be strong. Sudden death. One question, you get it right, you control the board, you get it wrong, you don't. Here we go. Which company makes Band-Aid brand adhesives? Which company makes Ben? Johnson & Johnson. That is correct. Texas, you control the board. We were fe feeling very confident after that first go around, after the first speed round, had a comfortable lead, and we pretty much took a dive. <laughs> MIT controls the board. I had an early buzzer, so I'm taking 5,000 away from MIT. You still control the board, though. Hostile takeover. Let's play. Who's playing, Mary? Mark Lewis. Let's make it happen, my man. Come on out here. Here we go. Beefy business, economists, the maverick, coal, and bottoms up. I'm going to go with economists. Economists. I'm an economics buff, and you know when I saw that economics was up there, I decided to to take a healthy bet on that, and it paid off. Name the British economist who advocated interventionist government policy and famously said, in the long run, we are all dead. John Maynard Keynes. John Maynard Keynes. Texas, you feel like you can steal this? Yes. Do you? You're not going to get a chance. $12,500. I definitely feel that our team had the momentum. Um, clearly, we got the majority of the questions right. With brands like Smirnoff and Guinness, this liquor company is the largest in the world. You have 20 seconds. With brands like Smirnoff and Guinness, this liquor company is the largest in the world. Texas, ready for the steal? Huddle up. Time's up. You got an answer? Time's up. Time is up. Texas, I got a steal. You want it? Yes, we do. What's your answer, Chris? Diageo. That is correct. Five thousand past twenty dollars for you. Well played. Good job, Kevin. We stole Diageo from uh, from MIT. That was that was a good good swing for us. Which company is the world's largest meat processor by market cap? I'll say Hormel. Hormel. Going to go with that one. Ten thousand dollars. Yep. That's money dollars. Yep. Let's do it. No joy, my man. No joy. Over here. Do I have a steal, Mary? Tyson. Tyson is correct. Ten thousand five hundred dollars go to you. Well played. Well played. It's okay. We just destroyed them the second round, and uh, we had a nice, healthy margin going into the final round. I think we were down by about thirty-five thousand dollars going into the last round, and uh, so that let us go first. Here we go. Incorporated in 1977. What company IPO'd in 1980 and is expected to have revenues over 20 billion in 2007? You have 10 seconds, 100 grand right there if you can answer it. Otherwise, you have to buy some research. We had to do the 100,000 or the 80,000. If we didn't have an answer by then, we were, we were in tough shape. Time's up. You want research or an answer? All right. The stock price of this company in January of 2003 was a split adjusted less than $10. It is now substantially over 120. 10 seconds, $80,000, you guys could use it. Apple. You sure about that? Yes. What do you guys think? It's a correct answer, congratulations. When we answered our question, it was more about being happy that we had gotten our question right, we knew we had a chance to win. Texas won their big money question, and we knew we weren't gonna come out with the victory if we didn't pull through with ours. What person was born on August 15th, 1964, in Dallas, Texas, and in 2006 was ranked 
as one of the most powerful women in the world. 10 seconds, you want research? 10 seconds, the question is now worth $80,000. She attended the all-girls Ursuline Academy of Dallas, selecting math and computers as her chosen path and graduated valedictorian of her class. 10 seconds, $80,000. You answer me now, you move on to the next round. We'd like to answer the question. We were excited to see MIT so eager to answer the question after only, after only two clues because we knew that they could have waited for a third. Go ahead. Condoleezza Rice. Is that your final answer? You're going to go with that one? You like that one? Condoleezza Rice? I like Condoleezza Rice. She's pretty good, right? Smart. She's a role model. Yeah. We could have bought more research, but I think that, you know, I was definitely one of the people who was like Condoleezza Rice because I knew she, I felt like she was from the South, and I thought I read in her background that she was from a girls' school. And, you know, some other team members felt the same way. She is not, however, the correct answer. Oh! We could have afforded to go for more research, and we didn't. Got caught up in the excitement. It was a tactical mistake. It just uh, we thought we had a name and it sounded right, seemed to fit the mold, and uh, we got caught up in the excitement. You know, and you're pumped up, and you're you're uh, you, know, you can taste the victory, and we snatched defeat from its jaws. When it turned out they were incorrect, it was more a feeling of relief than anything for a little bit, and then you know the the excitement really set in once we realized that you know we'd won. Texas. We knew coming in, MIT was going to be a strong team, and uh, we, we sort of fell behind there, but uh, you know, we lucked out at the end. I think there's both a, a skill element and a luck element, and I think we were uh, uh, fortunate to, to have both on our, on our side this time around. We're all very, very proud of, uh, of both our performance and also f we're proud of our school. We're, we're proud to show the world that, that we have a really good school in UT. I think we've got a good chance to go all the way. We've got a great team. Wednesday, it's an Ivy League Royal Rumble. The Bulldogs versus the Big Green. The Yale School of Management tackles Dartmouth. Then, it could be the upset of the tournament. UCLA faces the favorite, Chicago. The battle for bragging rights heats up. The Fast Money NBA Challenge, Wednesday on CNBC.